Hey ladies, I'm Dr. Kristen H. and welcome to my eco-friendly life. So today we're going to talk about home. Now when we say home, what do we exactly mean? We're talking about a lot of these toxins and chemicals that you may be bringing into your bathrooms, into your laundry rooms without even knowing it. And so today we're gonna help you clean it up. One of the first places we wanna start is with your clothes. When you wash your clothes, your laundry detergent, fabric softeners, and dryer sheets may be introducing a whole slew of chemicals into your house and into your body. When you wear your clothes, you're wearing it on your skin. And when you wear something on your skin, it's a possibility that it can be an irritant and cause rashes and breakouts. You may not even know why, but you may actually be sensitive to your laundry detergent or sensitive to one of the ingredients in your laundry detergent. One of the things that's most harmful is dryer sheets and fabric softener. Fabric softener is designed to stay in clothes for a long period of time. So those chemicals release over a long period of time. It can be very hazardous. Also, dryer sheets are not required to have ingredients. So you have no idea what you possibly could be bringing into your house and into your skin. There was a research study that was done that looked at the air that was blown out of dryers after they put the dryer sheets in and they found over seven carcinogenic chemicals that were released out of your dryer sheets. And so the, one of the first things you have to stop is your dryer sheets. You're like, but wait, Dr. Kristen, I love my clothes to smell good. So do I, we have a solution. This is a brand that we carry on our platform called Luhu. These wool balls are actually made in the United States. Some wool balls are not. And the beautiful thing about these wool balls is that they soften your clothes, they reduce your dryer time, they conserve energy, they're reusable. You can use these up to a thousand times. So you buy one box of dryer balls and it should last you easily for the year unless you have 50 kids and you wash washing clothes every day. So you're saying, okay, but how's this gonna make my clothes smell good? Essential oils. With dryer balls, you can mix together whatever essential oils that you like. So if you're extra like me, I have one essential oil for my sheets, one for my towels, and one for my clothes, so that way everything is giving me aromatherapy all throughout the day. So this is a blend that I love, it's lavender. Lavender is something that can, it's an essential oil that can help you go to sleep. And so I love adding this to my sheets at night because it can help kind of woo me into a nice sleep. And so dryer balls is a great alternative. You can get rid of your dryer sheets, and you can get rid of your fabric softener and this can do the job of all that in one. So not only is it better for you, it's better for the environment and it's better for your wallet. Another thing that we wanna talk about in your home is plastic versus glass. A lot of us have heard that you should take the plastic out of your house and have glass instead. The issue with plastic is it's awful for the environment. There's a trillion tons of plastic that's already in our oceans. Another issue with plastic is that, it's, believe it or not, it's very difficult to recycle. Only about 10% of the plastic that is produced is actually recycled. Whereas glass, on the other hand, is very easy to recycle and it takes less chemicals to recycle glass than plastic and glass is reusable. So you know when you use a plastic water bottle, they really tell you that you should not keep reusing it because over time, that water bottle will break down and you will start to consume a lot of those carcinogens that are in those water bottles. Whereas glass, on the other hand, essentially is reusable until you break it. And so a lot of the products on our black and green platform come in these glass containers. This is from Shea Body Butter that we sell on our platform. The better thing to do before you recycle something is to upcycle it. And that's basically to find another purpose. So what can you do with all these glass containers? One of my favorite things to do with them is of course, put flowers in them. And so I'm not the most handy person. I'll just rip the bottoms of it off, stick it in here, voila. Ooh, I made a mess everywhere, but that's okay. Um, and you have a nice little makeshift plant for your flowers. Another option is you can store things with it. So I know a lot of people are, you go to the health food store and you're like, okay, I'm at the health food store and you see all these bulk aisles and you see like your nuts and your seeds and your beans and you're trying to find containers to put it in. Grab your glass containers, throw them with your reusables, take them with you to the grocery store and now you can fill them with all of your nuts and seeds. And so here's like some mung beans, you drop these right on in there and voila, you can have a container that can also hold beans. And so there's a fabulous things that you can do with your glass containers after you use all your amazing products. A really great way to freshen your home, instead of using air fresheners, they're full of a lot of carcinogens, is a lot of us have been going towards candles. Now the thing with candles is when you buy the traditional candles that you might get from a large big box store, they're gonna be with paraffin. 
The issue with paraffin is when it burnt off paraffin, it releases a lot of carcinogens into the air. And so you really want to try to stick with plant-based waxes like coconut wax or soy wax because when those are burned, you are not releasing any of those carcinogens to your house and to your home. Another really good point that a lot of people don't know with candles is when you burn it, you want to make sure you burn the entire first layer down. The very first time you burn a candle, if you just burn it to a small circle, all of that wax on the edge, you're going to lose. So you have to make sure you always burn your candle all the way down. So if you don't have time to burn it for an hour or two, then you don't want to light a candle because you'll be throwing it away. And with our sustainable life, we do not want to waste anything. So again, even in your home, you want to be conscientious and try to find plant-based alternatives. You want to use wool balls instead of traditional dryer sheets, and you can use essential oils in a lot of different ways to get aromatherapy um, and make sure that you can still have a wonderful, beautiful smelling home without having synthetic fragrances.